Uh, now, uh, Rita, James and I drew the, you know, we always like to decide, we have a secret meeting to decide especially what topics <laughs> we want Rita to do and which we're not prepared to touch. So we have the actress from who played Princess Diana so brilliantly. Uh, she's now gone full chest binding, apparently. What's the story here? Yeah, this is Emma Corrin, who played Diana. She posted these photos on social media, alluding to the fact that she may be non-binary and talking about chest binding. She had bound her chest in the photos. She shared details of uh, chest binding products. And I don't know, it just all seemed very strange because she's not coming out and saying, I'm doing this, I'm non-binary, but she seems to be alluding to that. Um, so it certainly got people uh, interested. Um, of course, uh, chest binding, I think, is um, got all sorts of other connotations which well, we don't I'm, have I'm, time I'm deeply to get distressed into here. here. I'm deeply distressed here, James, because last week we had that ghastly statue of... Uh, of Princess Diana. I'm a huge <laughs> Princess Diana fan. I danced with Princess Diana, so I'm a huge fan. They do a statue of her where she looks like Elena Ceausescu or some horrible <laughs> kind of a man uh, pretending to be Princess Diana. Now they come out with the actress who so brilliantly played her in The Crown. I thought, wow, finally we've got an actress. I know others like Naomi Watts had a crack at it, but only this girl managed to do it, and now we're all into chess binding. Rita and James, what, what on earth is going on? What, why can't they just leave the great Princess Diana and I